What is up guys, this is RMD Tech, and today we're going to be doing something fairly interesting. Now, many of you guys will recognise what one of these are, and I'd hope that many of you also recognise what one of these is. And if you're anything like me, your parents would have raised you telling you, you can't put magnets near your electronics, it's dangerous and it could damage them. Well, today I've decided it's time to throw the rules out of the window, and we're going to be taking one of these hard drives, one of these magnets, putting the two together and seeing what happens. Now, I personally have no idea how this is going to go, but if one of you guys out there already knows what's going to happen to one of these hard drives, do be sure to leave that in the comment section down below with your prediction. And without further ado, let's get into that video. Okay, so I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I don't really have a plan of how I'm gonna go about trying to kill this hard drive. Essentially, I have this magnet and I have the hard drive, and I'm going to put the two together and see how it goes. So you're going to have to bear with me for a moment here, right? So essentially, there are two sides to the hard drive. We've got this side with the outer metal casing and this side, which is bare, right? We're going to start with the side, which I imagine can probably survive. I, I, I don't know. I imagine it can probably survive due to the metal casing. But we're going to do a couple of passes over like that with a magnet, right? And essentially, what I'm hoping that tells us is well what it could potentially do is because we have a disc in here which has all the hard drive data stored on it potentially this could disrupt that and we could lose some of our data i doubt it however there's the potential there all right so you can see that is it's quite a strong magnet it takes quite a bit of force to get that off right and so there's a good chance we could do some damage if i just sort of go like that across up and down up and down, right, so that's, I think that's four passes, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and go to ten, okay, and rip that off, now the thing we have to check now is, can we still watch the video that we've got stored on this hard drive? What is up guys, this is and if I turn the volume down, the answer is yes, we, we can still definitely watch it, it's still, still there and it's still working fine. So, does it work when I put the magnet on? Like, whilst the magnet is attached to it, can the video still play? And the answer would appear to be yes. So, with the magnet attached to the hard drive, the video is definitely still playing. And it's, it's playing very well actually. There's. No, we're not losing any frames, we're not jumping about. It appears to be absolutely fine, at least on, whilst the uh, magnet is on this side of the hard drive. Okay, so perhaps we're going to need to rotate this round and see if we can do any damage on the more exposed side of the hard drive. Now, I'm really hoping that we can do otherwise. This video might end up being a little bit anticlimactic. So hopefully we're going to achieve something. I don't know what we'll achieve, but hopefully it will be something. Okay, so you can see the video is still playing fine. That's probably because the magnet's nowhere near it at the moment. So if I uh, just take the magnet, we'll start up in the corner, the side of the platter. And yeah, I'd, I'd imagine that probably won't do anything. And by the looks of things, it's not doing anything. But however, if you listen very carefully, I'm not sure if it will be picked up on the video, but you can almost hear the um, motor inside sort of making different noises as I move the magnet around. You can sort of hear it changing in pitch as it sort of struggles to fight against the magnetism. Oh, there's a very loud beep there. I'm not sure what that was. At least I think I heard, I, I might have been imagining that, but I think I heard a beep. You see, if you if you listen carefully there, you can see the you can you can hear the um, motor inside sort of start to whir inside. So if you listen. Yeah, it's very, very hard to hear. But however, you can de it is definitely there. So that we're, we're definitely having an effect on the hard drive. And essentially what I want to see is I want to see the video pause whilst we're moving the magnet back. Because that will mean that the read head is no longer able to read the data because we're holding it still with the magnet. I feel like here we're getting the loudest noise. That's probably where we got the best chance of achieving this. And by the looks of things, the video, oh, no, no, video is still going, video, this is my, um, 
first ever PCIe graphics card if, video if anyone's wondering and wants to go check that out. Um, however, we are struggling to get it to stop here. Oh, there we go, right, the video has stopped. So if I hold the magnet here, right, right there, the video is no longer able to play. So if I go and try and navigate on the hard drive, can we open, oh, right, so the video started playing again when I started navigating around the hard drive. That's very interesting. Okay. Okay, the video has stopped again. If I try and open up this file, does it, does it start to work? No, okay, so it doesn't start to work again. So, well, all the time the magnet is there, and it's still attached at the moment, all the time the magnet is there, the hard drive can't read any data. Now I'm going to take it off and see if it starts working again. Okay, right, there we go, right, so as you can see there, it did sort of rush and catch up and get back to where it should be. So the video is now playing again, now that I've removed the magnet. If I put it back in that same location, See, oh, it hasn't stopped, it's still, it's still going. Video is still going, and can I get it to stop? It's actually, it's actually harder than it looks. I was expecting this to be quite an easy thing to achieve. However, I don't know whether it's just because my magnet isn't strong enough. This is the strongest magnet I have, so unfortunately I can't try anything stronger. But it is much harder than I was expecting it to be. What if we go down here near the PCB? So this is all sort of electronic PCB down here. And will the magnet disrupt any of that? I, I don't know, actually. I mean, rubbing the magnet across it, it still seems to be reading the video fine. Oh, no, okay, right. The video has crashed there. Right, so we've got a crashed video. Can we open up one of the files? Yes, the file's still open, so I imagine if we reopen this video, it will still be fine. However, it can't play it as it is. So let's try reopening that and see what happens. Okay, yes, yeah, so there we go. We're back in the game and it's all still working. So this hard drive is actually very difficult to kill, and it's not even an expensive hard drive. This is a cheap hard drive that I was able to salvage from a scrap PC. Oh, right, that's interesting because I didn't put the magnet back next to it. So I may have spoken too soon that we may have killed this hard drive because that video has crashed despite the magnet not going anywhere near it. So what could have happened is we could have corrupted some of the data on this hard drive. Let's see, let's just try opening that one more time. So it opens, I scrub along, but after it gets to a certain point, it just can't play anymore. And if we see in, um, if we look in Crystal Disk Info, we've gone from good health status on this drive to caution, all right? So we've definitely damaged this drive a significant amount here because obviously this was a used hard drive. It wasn't brand new. However, it was in good health condition. However, we've just seen it there drop down to a caution. Okay, so can we open up any of the other videos or files on here? Okay, so this video is opening. Can we scrub along? Yeah, okay, so this video appears to be fine up until about the six or seven minute mark, at which point, again, we lose it. So we have, by the looks of things, actually corrupted the data on this hard drive using this magnet. The, the pictures, they're still opening fine. So at least some of the pictures. Image 4552 appears to not want to be opening. I've double clicked that twice now, and we're not getting anything coming up. So it would appear, but we have potentially killed this hard drive with this magnet. And that, it did take quite a bit of work that, we had to sort of really rub it across. However, I think we've finally gone ahead and killed the hard drive. And so that probably wraps up our video quite nicely there. When your parents told you when you were younger, don't put magnets near your electronics, there was a reason for that and I think we've demonstrated that quite nicely here today magnets do kill hard drives they yes it takes a bit of work dropping a magnet on your hard drive probably won't kill it rubbing a magnet across your hard drive probably will so would I recommend you do that to your hard drive
No, of course not. Would I recommend you do it as a method of erasing data? Definitely not. Even if you plan on never using the drive again, magnet is not an effective way of erasing the data. Potentially, if you have a much more powerful magnet than I do, however, I definitely wouldn't recommend it. And we're definitely getting system errors from this hard drive now. So, overall, if you guys did enjoy this video, it was a little bit of a weird video for me. I'm not used to making videos like this. This is a very sort of unscripted, experimental type video. So, if you didn't enjoy this video, please do be sure to leave that in the comment section down below and I'll make sure that I improve this sort of format and I don't really go for this again. However, if you did enjoy this type of sort of unscripted, very sort of experimental video for me, it's very unscientific. I am well aware and I, I never try to claim my videos are scientific in the slightest. Um, if you did enjoy it, please do be sure to let me know and I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure to hit like and subscribe if you're new and I will see you in the next one.